Hi guys, welcome to Dead Man's Rapes. I'm Gaz, and today we're looking at. It doesn't really show you much on the packaging, but it's the Joytech Runabout, the pod system. So it's a very very nice little pod system to be honest. It's got a very very nice weight to it. Very easy to remove your cartridges. Um, it's a very nice vaping experience as well. Takes advantage of that same 480 milliamp uh, battery that's in the Joytech Teros, the the automatic draw. Uh, predecessor to this um, but they've, they've sort of designed it off what they class um, a yacht to be um, I can see where they, they get the design inspiration from I would say it looks more like a surfboard but still quite a nice kit um, you've got the really nice light around the button and at the bottom as well I don't know if you can see that but it's a nice little effect uh, vapor production is really good So it's quite a large amount of vapour for such a, a little pod system to be honest. It's a 1.2 ohm atomizer that's in there um, and obviously when that atomizer burns out you just take the pod out, chuck that away, pop a new one in, refillable pods um, but it's, it gives quite a large amount of vapour and I've even been using it as um, a restricted lung drawer as well. And you get quite a bit of vapour from that. It is quite astonishing for such a little device, to be honest. Um, it's perfect if you want to run nit salts in there or high nicotine. Or you just want something for a great flavour. The flavour out of this is outstanding for a little pod design. Um, I'm slowly moving into the pod designs. I've got the Terros. Um, I did the review on the Inican EQ pod. I've done the Aspire Nautilus AIO box. Um, I bought myself a Lost Vapor Ryan, which is absolutely incredible. And then this came along, which I'm really, really enjoying using. Um, get a decent amount of life out of the battery. I'd say around about a day's use out of the battery, maybe a little bit less. But because it's such that it's got that USB port there, but because it's such a small battery, that 480 milliamp hours, um, it charges very, very quickly as well. So even if you do die when you're casually using it or something like that, you bang it on charge half an hour later it's got plenty enough charging to take the charger out and be able to use it but i'm really enjoying this kit it's one of them that when i read the specs i uh, wasn't the most impressed with it i thought why make, why redesign the teros i did like the teros the automatic draw um but i'm actually really enjoying this the redesigned pods the 1.2 ohm um they're, they're absolutely brilliant and they're so easy to, to push and pull um, but let's have a closer look at the kit itself so this is the Joytech runabout uh, pod system now your box contents or your your little package contents um, it's going to be a little bit hard to see on these but you get one runabout battery you get two of the cartridges you get one USB cable one manual one warranty card one warning card and spare parts in there as well in a nice little compact little case thing now the actual kit itself let's take a look at that one so it's a very very nice size um, it's got a little bit of weight to it as well um, but it's a very very nice kit overall uh, very very easy to use brilliant flavour um, you can see it's not absolutely massive in your hand um, it's a nice design like I said before it's um, supposed to be designed from the inspiration of yachts um, but to me it is more of a surfboard look um, but it's still a very very nice kit now using it is very very simple it's five clicks on and off of that button um, and you press that button to vape as well you know, every time you press that button the light comes on and then gives you battery indicator as well. And there's a little light here. Um, don't know if you can see it flashing there because I'm on low battery. Um, but it's a very, very nice little feature. And as well, if you pull the pod out, the light's in the top as well. lights up underneath the pod. It's a cool little design feature, but not needed. But it adds to it, doesn't it? Um, now, three clicks of your button. And the light comes on. And you can just press your button and cycle through all your different colours of your lights. I like that green one, so I'll leave it on that green one. Now, for filling and changing your atomizer, very, very simple. Just pull the pod, just a little magnetic clip, 
very very easy to sort and then fill in you've got this little arrow on the side you just get your nail underneath that lift it up fill into the little hole push it back in dead simple and then when you get your usual burning taste or your lack of flavor your lack of vapor and you want to change your atomizer you just chuck this pot away get your new one fill it up leave it to prime for a good 10 minutes or so and let it soak itself up and then just push it in doesn't matter which way you've got an airflow on either side um, which will just line up with the airflow hole on the pod all in all it's a very very nice very easy to use pod design um, it's a bit of a funky shape um, it does fit quite nicely in a pocket actually because of that like teardrop design that teardrop shape it fits very well um, but it's great for the high nicotine for the nick salts uh, and like I said you can use it as a mouth draw or I've been using it as a restricted lung draw um, which has been quite pleasant because the flavour is so good from that 1.2 ohm atomizer that's in there um, and as well with it being that 480 milliamp battery if you've had a Joytech Teros or you've been looking into them it's the same battery that's in that um, so you'll get the same amount of time possibly a little bit less with the atomizer being a little bit more powerful but it charges within uh, such a little period of time um, you've got the USB port on the bottom here nice and reinforced as well um, but it, it charges so quickly even if it completely dies on you bang it on charge within half an hour 45 minutes you've got a good enough charge to be using it um, and it, it's absolutely brilliant I do like this kit to be honest um, it's one that I would recommend for anybody wanting something small to run nick salts or high nick in um, and for the price of it as well I would say this is a little bit better than the Teros. Um, the Teros is automatic draw, which is fantastic. I'm always a fan of that. Um, but this has that, that button press. Um, it gives a slightly better flavour. It does give quite a bit more vapour as well, as you saw. Um, and it feels a lot chunkier and a lot better made of a kit. Um, and the, the colours that are available in it are really nice as well. You've got these wood effect ones. There's like a marble effect. Um, they're really nice. Check them out. Uh, like I say, one that I would recommend for pretty much anybody, whether you're a smoker converting to vaping or a vapor that just wants something small, um, something discreet, something to easy carry around. As always, down in the description below, I'm going to link up the website for Tech, the electronic cigarette company. They sell the Joy Tech Runabout. There we go. Um, and they sell the pods for it as well. And you've got a range of liquids on there the nick salts you've got the the free base nicotine stuff and um, so definitely check them out and if you put everything in your basket get to your checkout and use code dmv20 you'll get 20 percent off all fully priced items i'm also going to link up the facebook and the instagram for dead man's vapes um, i'm on there every day um, daily posts whether the pictures videos they can be kits liquids tricks um, editing pictures uh, there's all sorts going on there and it's uh, it's quite interesting to see i do like um getting people's feedback the messages the comments um it's always much appreciated and if you could subscribe to the youtube channel it'd be absolutely fantastic so as always just sign up to the youtube subscribe to that follow the facebook and the instagram get my numbers up there it would be absolutely brilliant if you could help me out with that um i'm going to crack on with some more reviews i've got the luxotic df box and um, the squonk mod and um, that's going to be the next one coming up uh, it's absolutely fantastic i've not used a good squonk kit for a while and i'm really enjoying using that kit and um, nice interesting one to be looking at and um, so i'm going to crack on and i'll hope to see you again next time thank you for watching